So one of the uh, most contentious issues in thyroid oncology today is utilization and interpretation of molecular testing and molecular markers. Um, this is a rapidly evolving field. It is so kinetic. Uh, every week, every month, there are new studies being published. And it's a challenge for clinicians to stay abreast of developments. Um, today, we focused on the utilization of molecular testing for patients who have indeterminate thyroid nodules, that is, biopsies performed which failed to resolve benignity versus malignancy. And this represents about 30% of all biopsies now performed in the United States. And the challenge for clinicians is when to use uh, molecular testing and how to interpret uh, the results. In the end, I think um, the take home messages are the following is one, um, know what your unique ins institutional incidence of thyroid cancer is for each of the Bethesda indeterminate categories. You need to know your own numbers. Secondly, um, there is no perfect test. Some tests are good at ruling in cancer. Other tests are ruling out cancer. And I think the first thing to always do is be a great clinician. Use history, use physical examination, use ultrasonographic characteristics, and when necessary, get a second opinion from a cytologist who is expert in the field to help guide whether to rule in and rule out. And finally, you must counsel patients very carefully about the risks and benefits of molecular testing because in the end, the patient is the critical decision maker. I would finally just say the American Thyroid Association is going to be releasing guidelines for the management of thyroid nodules and a differentiated thyroid cancer probably early in 2015, and there will be several new recommendations directed specifically at appropriate utilization of molecular testing.